it can be challenging to live out a Christian faith in today's world, particularly for children as parents and as children's readers. We need to be concerned about the things that we may negatively influence our children. How do we help our children to handle outside influence using them as opportunities to help our children grow as disciples? Hello everyone, my name is Eda and I'm part of the Global 1450 movement. We desire to equip people like you to reach, to disciple, and to empower the next generation. Some of the people, activities, and things that influence today's children include music, sports, social media, electronic media, non-Christian friends wanting certain faiths or trades, and so on. To help our children handle these outside influences, we can think the answers to our four important questions. Number one, what concerns you as a parent or leader regarding this outside influence? Number two, what spiritual practices can you establish with your child when it comes to this outside influence? Number three, what questions can you discuss with your child to help them think well about this issue? Number four, what scriptures speaks to this particular inference that you could look at with your child? Let me show you how this works with an example. Since all our children come into contact with other children who do not know Jesus, and since we know that Jesus models friendships with unbelievers, let's look at the issue of friendships with non-Christian children and answer the four questions. Number one, what issues concerns you as a parent or leader regarding your children being friends with non-Christians? You might say you are concerned about the behavior of non-believing children, other children pressuring your children to do something wrong or unsafe, exposing your child to ungodly beliefs, ideas, and behaviors. Number two, what spiritual practices you establish with your children when it comes to having non-Christian friends? Some ideas might include always meet the child and their parents before doing an activity. Pray together with your child for friends who do not know Jesus. Teach your child how to be a good friend. Set guidelines for what you will allow your child to do with the unbelieving friend. For example, will you allow him to attend different religious events? Equip your child to share the gospel with the friends with compassion and love. Number three, what questions can you discuss with your children to help them think well about this issue? And it is important to talk about the issue when you are not angry. Why do you want to be friends with him or her? Who is influencing whom? Are you leading them toward Jesus or are they pulling you away? What do you think about a child saying that he wants to kill another child or maybe abusing another child? What fun activities would you like to do with your friends? Number four, what scriptures could you look at with your children and speak to these particular inference? Here are a few scriptures to get you started. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 26, a righteous man is cautious in friendship, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 to 16 talks about as being the salt and the light of the world and let our light shine before others. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 Do not be misled, bad company corrupts good character. Look at the scripture, establishing spiritual practices, helping children think about the issue and letting them be part of the decision-making process. All provides an opportunity 
to transformation to take place in their hearts. These four questions provide an excellent framework to guide you to think and talk about any outside influence in our children's life, helping them to grow as disciples. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell to alert you when we post a new video. And please share this video with others who would be encouraged by the message. If you'd like to translate this video into another language, the video script can be found on www.1450today.net. To access other resources to help you reach, disciple, and empower your children, head to www.1450.net.